So how is this well-known beer made? First, it is essential to list the ingredients that Budweiser uses. Since Budweiser is an American lager, this simply means that it uses five major ingredients, namely barley, hops, water, rice, and yeast. However, one of these ingredients holds a secret to Budweiser's crisp and clean taste. This secret ingredient will be discussed later in this video. After listing the ingredients, it's important to know their use and quantity. Barley is the main ingredient of Budweiser and most beers, and Budweiser is about 70% barley as barley provides the sugar, which is later transformed into alcohol by yeast. Hops are arguably the ingredient that makes beer taste like beer, and this is because the plant is responsible for giving the beer its characteristic bitterness. Rice constitutes a significant part of the Budweiser beer. However, it does not actually add to the flavor, but gives the brew a lighter color and encourages its dry and clean aroma. It will come as no surprise that water is the ingredient used the most, not only in Budweiser itself, but also in the brewing process. And lastly, there's the yeast, which turns the initial sugary water produced by barley into alcohol. Moving on to the brewing process, while laying the foundation of the beer, the barley is mixed with water inside a mash cooker to form the liquid base of the beer. This mash is given a short protein rest at 120 degrees Fahrenheit, or 48 degrees Celsius. At the same time, the rice is cooked for a short period, after which it is added to the mash cooker. It is then cooked once again, which triggers the enzymes in the brew to turn the starch of the ingredients into sugars. After this process is completed, the clarification process starts. The sugary water, also known as the wort, is pumped from the mash cooker to another tank called a Lautertun, whose primary goal is to make the wort clearer. It does so by removing the rice and barley grains from the wort. The clear wort is then transferred to a kettle, and the hops are added to create the bitterness that makes beer taste like beer. Afterward, the wort goes through a stripping process that removes sulfur compounds from the wort. This is done by letting the wort flow over the inner surface of thin vertical tubes in a very thin layer, and through these tubes, hot sterile air is blown. After the wort has been sufficiently boiled, it is moved into tanks where it will stay for 21 days for fermentation and lagering. At this stage, the wort is given time to rest, and this is also the point where the yeast is added to the brew, which allows the sugars to turn into alcohol. The yeast that Budweiser uses is a bottom fermenting one, which means it will sink to the bottom of the tanks. Fermentation happens at a cooler temperature of about 7.2 to 8.9 degrees Celsius, that's 45 to 48 degrees Fahrenheit. After this process is completed, it undergoes the process of pasteurization, which will further extend its shelf life. It is then packaged for distribution into kegs, bottles, or cans. Adolphus Bush decided to add rice to the recipe to make his beer unique and different from other lagers available on the market. Do you agree that Budweiser is one of the most popular beers in the world? Leave your answers in the comments section below.